What's going on my friends? My name is Dennis and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can get a Google My Business verification done without having to get a postcard in the mail. Now before we jump in there are two disclosures. The first one is that the owner of the service is called Mike Steffens and you can find him on Facebook. Here's a picture of him in 321. The reason I'm showing you Mike is because if there are any support issues that you're having where the support team is not responding in a timely manner, you can always reach out to Mike on Facebook and try to get it resolved that way. Now the second disclaimer I need to discuss is that Google is banning everybody right now and I still think that it's better to get a legit Google My Business listing, especially if it's bringing you leads. And you know, that depends on your situation. You can find a homeowner that can potentially give you their home address to use as a Google My Business and you can pay them some money. They're gonna get the postcard in, they're gonna give you that poster. Or you can actually rent out a suite from somebody. It could be a real suite, it could be a false suite, but in any case, you can rent out a suite for maybe 100 to 400 bucks a month. That way you have a legitimate suite with a lease contract that you can give to Google in case your listing gets banned. Keep in mind that using a Google My Business verification service is potentially higher risk than sending out the traditional postcard. However, if you know what you're doing, if you wanna get your listing verified without having a physical address, this is the way to go. And Mike is the guy to do it with. He's been doing it for quite a bit of time and he's the guy to get your listing verified. Before I show you Mike's service, I just wanna mention that in my previous recommendation, the vendor did a terrible job at customer support. And this is why, frankly, I'm recommending Mike is because first he has a 30 day guarantee or refund, which means that if your listing does get banned, you can actually get it re reinstated or he's gonna give you a refund. And the second part is that, well, he's providing you guys a 10% discount by mentioning my name in the email that you're gonna send out to him when you do order the service. And because I do know him quite well, I hope he's gonna provide better service when you're coming through me versus being a cold lead from his website. This is Mike's website. It's called listingverification.com and this is where you can order your Google My Business verification service. Now, the great part is that he has an authentic verification process and he has a good amount of solutions for any scenario. However, there are a couple caveats. So the first one is take a look at the pricing. Now this might change depending on when you're watching the video as this fluctuates quite a bit at this point. And then there's this other thing we need to take a look at, which are the categories. So at this point, Mike is saying that to get a list of ineligible categories, what you need to do is email him at orders at listingverification.com so that you can ask if your category is eligible or ineligible to get a Google My Business verification done. What I like about Mike's website is that it's all fairly straightforward. So if you have any questions, literally it's all listed over here. So go ahead and go through every single question just to make sure that you have all the correct information. Um, from what my understanding, this website is updated. So you know, make sure that you read through all of this. And one thing to know is that basically you need to make sure if you do order that you do not change your business name, address, uh, you know, your city, state, phone number, and other items here so that your listing does not get banned immediately. Um, especially with higher risk categories, Google is very punishing in terms of banning and just disabling and suspending listings quite often and quite frequently, especially right now. Now, that can be a great thing where your competition is less. However, that also increases the risk of your listing getting suspended. The turnaround time for your orders can be from 10 to 15 business days, but Mike does have a service where you can get your order rushed and it can usually be done within two to three days, which is also great. How do you place an order? There is an intake sheet that you download and you can put in all of the information that you need for your listing into that intake sheet and then you can email that sheet over to orders at listingverification.com. When you do fill out this sheet, make sure you have all the information that you need to fill this out upfront and that you do not want to change it later on within a month or two. 
Uh, what I usually recommend is waiting at least a few months between before you start changing any of the information that you submit so that Google does not auto suspend your listing, which means that when you get to this Excel sheet that you're going to give it, fill out and give out to Mike, you want to make sure you have all the correct information ahead of time before you even start filling out this information and that this the information that you provide will not need to be changed within the next few months. The main reason why I really love the service is because Mike provides a 30 day replacement or refund guarantee, which is absolutely ridiculous if you ask me, because most vendors do not provide such a guarantee. Basically, if you if your listing gets suspended, it's lost, it's gone. And what's great about Mike's service is that he has a 30 day guarantee. Now, you know, this might sound like a hard pitch, but it's really hard to find a legit Google My Business verification service provider, which is why at this point I'm definitely recommending Mike. The countries that are eligible right now are pretty much the United States and several others, which means that if you live outside the United States or want to get a Google My Business verified listing outside of the US, make sure that you email orders at listingverification.com first, just to make sure that your country is eligible to have a GMB verified in. And then the last point I want to make is that uh, the way you process your payment is that once your order is processed, you're going to get an invoice through your email so it's not where you're gonna pay up front and then your order is processed you're gonna get the order process first and then you're gonna get your invoice through the email I just want to compare the pricing here which is pretty reasonable at 120 bucks per listing and then if you have 20 minimum orders it goes down to 90 and so on and so forth if we compare this pricing to the other service I recommended about half a year ago the pricing is much better. Basically with the GMB Swarm, you have to buy a 20 pack for $2,000 in order just to get started with their service. And from my understanding, they have not the best customer service. Many folks have complained that their customer service absolutely does not do its justice, which means that I would probably go at this point with listingverification.com. What I do like about GMB Swarm's website is their frequently asked questions page, which has a ton of great information about just the general uh, information of verifications for the GMBs. For example, can my address be hidden? Now, uh, this frequently asked questions, most of them will apply to my service as well, but go ahead and check out um, this page just to have the latest information uh, about GMB verification. For example, which niches or you know services are not accepted at this point it's locksmith garage door and rehab type of businesses and that's great to know just so you understand hey maybe my service does not fall into the category that can be verified through the GMB verification services and then what countries this is available for see at this point you can actually find out these answers and most of this will apply to Mike's um, mic service as well here okay and then there's also a good amount of information just to get more familiar with the process and some things you can expect and so on and so forth for those of you that stuck around till the end did not skip any of the ads like the video for the algorithm I want to give you a pro tip as a thank you so Mike also offers training on how to rank the GMB but more importantly he also has training on how to get the verification done yourself without having to pay a service like his so if you're into that go ahead and send him an email at orders at listingverification.com or direct message him on Facebook to find out how you can be a part of that group and how you can get your hands on that training. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you next time.